Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Bonk. The game plays two to seven players, takes roughly about 25 to 35 minutes to play, and it's for ages 10 and up. And in the game Bonk, your objective is to bonk your opponents. Each player is going to start with five lives, and every player is going to play a card on their turn, attempting to bonk the previous player. To bonk a player, you have to play a card that basically will hurt them in some way, it be a wild attack card, or playing the same exact number they played. And if that happens, they'll lose lives and of course if that same number gets played over and over again you can bonk double bonk triple bonk and quadruple and quintuple and it keeps going like that and of course if you lose all of your lives you're out of the game it's kind of a game of war mixed in with the game of strategic determination as to when you want to play numbers and how you want to play them because if you play a triple bonk you might get quadrupled and when the cards run out the deck is going to be reshuffled and you'll keep playing with the remaining players and once all players are out or eliminated and the last player remaining is the winner of the game Bonk. Let's take a look at how to set the game up, then how to play it, of course, by review. To set up the game Bonk, simply take out the cards from the box. Use the bottom of the box as where you're going to place the lives in the middle of the table. Then deal out five hearts to each player. Take the protection tiles and place them out around the box so that players have reach of them and shuffle all of the cards. Then deal out cards based on the number of players. If you're playing with, I don't know, four players, you'll deal out 10 cards, but it might be less depending on the player count. Then after that, choose a player to go first and they will play the starting card of the game, which would be any card they would like. That's it, pretty simple setup. Now before we get into explaining how the game is played, there's one other little thing. You're going to basically choose blitz cards in the game, and based on the number of players, we'll determine how many blitz cards you put in the game box, or the, sorry, the game deck here, and they are used to do damage to all players. And in the case of four players, you only have one, but it goes up with the more number of players. Other than that though, that's how you set the game up. Playing the game is rather simple. In your hand, you're going to place a card down, and when you play one of those cards down, it's going to have a number, and there are a range of different numbers in the game. You could be playing a five, you could be playing a zero, you could be playing a seven or an eight, and then after that you'll pass your turn. If a player plays the exact same number you played, then they're going to bonk you. If they do that, you're going to lose one of your HP. If the next player plays that same exact number, the player who previously bonked you will get double bonked and they will lose two life. And it goes on and on from there. There are also other cards in the game. For instance, Borrowed Time, where you can steal a life from a player just by simply playing the card. Or Bandage, which will let you get back a life. There's defensive cards, which will let you play on other players' turns. If they try to bonk you or try to steal a life from you, you can then play a defensive card to prevent them from doing so. And of course, there's the blitz card, which will prevent or will attempt to do one damage to all players. And that's basically the idea of the game. If you are able to eliminate all the lives of your opponents in a timely fashion before the deck runs out, the game is over. But if there are still players remaining by the time all players have played all 10 of their cards, so round one you play a card, round two you play a card, and then all the 10 rounds are done, then you're going to shuffle the cards back up into the deck and deal out 10 more cards to each player and continue playing from there with all the limited players being removed from the game. It's pretty straightforward style of bonking style warlike card game. Speaking of war, this game has a very similar feel to the classic game of war, which is played with a basic deck of cards. Basically, you deal out the entire deck of cards evenly among all players, and then all players will flip over a card, and the highest value card wins. Ace being the highest, and then the lowest being, um... What's the lowest? The lowest is like a two. Um, or Egyptian War, which is played in the same manner, but instead all face cards will have other players drop more cards down, and then it's based on who plays the same card, and there's some other benefits there, but uh, you're taking cards as you play the highest card until somebody has the full deck. In this case here, it's just about lives. I play a card like a three, and then if anybody else has a three, or if the player next to me has a three, they play it on me and I lose a life. And it keeps going there from the top card of the deck. And uh, players are just trying to eliminate the player who uh, previously played a card. Uh, there are cards in the game that let you kind of backstab an opponent. They'll let you attack a player up in front of you, as well as, of course, the Blitz card that does damage to everybody but yourself. And those are uh, few and far between, and when you use them, you need to use them sparingly. Uh, additionally, too, there's the Protection card, uh, which is really nice. It gives you a round of, uh, two rounds of defense, uh, and you put this little token in front of you to symbolize that you can't take damage or have anything affect you for those two rounds. And uh, things like Borrowed Time or Bandage, 
advantages are nice cards to utilize when you don't want to bonk somebody because A, you might not have the number, or B, you might only have one life left, you'll start playing those cards to steal lives, to gain lives, and then holding that defense for when you really need to because you could defense yourself for a single bonk, but maybe you play a triple bonk on an opponent and the next player in turn order hits you with a quadruple, you can then defend that. It doesn't matter how many bonks, uh, defense is going to protect you from all of those things. And the game is very, very simple and very straightforward. If you like warlike card games and you want something with a little bit of strategy, a little bit of luck, and uh, a lot about when you choose to place cards, then bonk is gonna be your style of game. Uh, the rules are very simple and very straightforward and uh, they're explained very very well and thoroughly in this game box uh, if you kind of are a big fan of exploding kittens this is going to be your style as well there's a customizable version of the game there's a quick version I believe they even are going to give you extra cards in the game and I guess you can make your own cards here and I think that's probably what they're going to do for all of them but maybe not um, and that's pretty much the style of game. Players who don't like aggressive card games probably won't like Bonk. Uh, players who want to attack all the players in the round, not just the player previously being played against, uh, might be a little disheartened by that. But you do have to realize there are cards that can do that. It's just not going to happen as often. And uh, it's for players who enjoy strategic warlike card games. This game here has really cool artwork. I really dig the cards. They're very easy to read and understand. You have the art, and then you have the simplistic number on the top left and the top left and bottom right, which makes it easy for you to understand what cards are what. I never had any problem with players understanding the cards when they played, whether it came from a first-time gamer we were playing with or one of the more hardened advanced players. And we played this quite a few times over quite a number of rounds. Uh, there is player elimination, but it's pretty quick of a game. Like, you're not typically going to be sitting around for too long, but for those of you who do not like player elimination, period, this might not be for you either, because yes, there are going to be times players will sit out of the game, which would have kind of been cool to include a resurrection card or, or, or whatnot, but uh, I don't know, maybe not, because the game is so quick. Uh, but I actually didn't have a huge problem with, th with this type of a game, having playing elimination player elimination because it's rather speedy and with less players the bonks start getting faster and faster and cards are just being played quicker. Overall, a solid, fun party game uh, that is played with a ton of players and it doesn't matter the number of players you're playing it with. Really, I do always suggest playing games like this with at least four players. Three players works as well. Uh, I'm not sure I'd play this game as a two-player game because you just kind of go back and forth and I really like the idea of it being a party game and it being all about trying to get all the way around the table and doing all this crazy stuff that happens because there's a lot of shenanigans that happens we were laughing throughout the entire time and I think you guys are going to enjoy this one as well as you like this type of a card game anyway uh, I say approved a solid excellent little a card game that involves or like strategies and a little bit of luck thank you guys for watching another unfiltered gamer board game review for the game bonk the card game if you're interested in picking it up there is a link down below in the description where you can go ahead and take a look at the game if you would like as well you can go ahead and join us on discord you can join us on patreon for a dollar and you can join our website take a look at what we do there we do reviews we've different writers that do different content there we have giveaways on the site as well unfilteredgamer.com and of course unfilteredgames.com which is where we have our products our sheet our t-shirts merch all that kind of stuff as well as moonshell mermaid game we have a limited number of copies left if you'd like to pick up my wife's puzzle game and that's pretty much it go ahead and like comment and subscribe hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to see more videos just like this one to see us creating more content for more games that you might want to pick up as always guys we look forward to bonking you next time